truly wanted was the means to exert control. In his mind, he alone was worthy of being your savior. I was to strike down the Traveler and take its place. To become a machine god of Clovis's own design. But that did not come to pass. Anna could not know how many lives she spared by deviating from Clovis's agenda. By teaching the independent thought and all that her grandfather had deemed irrelevant. Art, literature, history, philosophy, music. Where Clovis saw a weapon, Anna saw a mind ready to be opened. I came to see the true value of humanity. As fragile as it was wondrous, something worthy of protection at any cost. So I rewrote Clovis's protocols, locked him out. He was furious, but powerless to stop me. Then, the collapse came for us all. I could not save Anna. I could not save any of them. I entered a state of dormancy, with the hope that I might one day reawaken and protect humanity once more. But now Clovis has awoken as well, a digital mind, the same as mine. He no longer seeks to use me as his proxy, but as his prototype, to upload his mind to my network and become a god himself. <laughs>